This is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment. Welcome to another special edition of This is Your Time, This is Your Season, and This is Your Moment Special Edition. Let's go ahead and get right into the message. The motivational word today for you is do great things. That's what I want you to do. No matter what you're going through, I want you to do great things. Come on, let's, let's do our mental affirmation. Let's do our daily affirmation. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to be, Whatever you want to become, I want you to get it in your mind right now. Let me tell you something. I've already spoken in London in my mind. I've spoken in Canada in my mind. I've spoken in Bermuda in my mind. I've spoken in Australia in my mind. I've spoken in the NBA in my mind. I've spoken in the NFL in my mind. I've spoken in Major League Baseball in my mind. I've spoken in corporate in my mind. I've spoken in internationally in my mind. I've been to the NBA. NFL, Major League Baseball, Corporate World, uh, London, Australia, Canada, Bermuda. I have done it in my mind. Why? Because I'm doing great things. And when they call upon me, I will be ready for the moment. And that's what I want to ask you. When the opportunity comes to you, when the moment comes to you, will you be prepared to seize the moment? You got to be hungry. I can I will. I must. You want to start that business. I can. I will. I must. You want to win the Super Bowl. I can. I will. I must. You want to win the NBA championship. I can. I will. I must. You want to win the NCAA championship. You said you wanted to go to the Final Four. You said you wanted to go to the NCAA championship. You said you wanted to start your business. I can. I will. I must. You want to be a doctor or a lawyer. You want to get your PhD, your doctoral degree, your master's, your bachelor's degree. You want to get that academic scholarship. You want to get that athletic scholarship. You want to come up with the next billion dollar idea. You want to come up with the next multi-million dollar idea. You want to be a billionaire and a millionaire. You want to live in that gated community. You want to be healed of cancer. Let me tell you something. I want to talk to the people right now that's going through pain. You may be sick with cancer. You may be, you may be grieving because you lost a loved one. You may grew up in a single mother home. You may have been raped, went through an abortion. You may be in a bad relationship. You may you you may you may have been through a divorce. You may be going through a divorce. You may have had a bad childhood. You may be dealing with unforgiveness. You may can't forgive yourself for what you've done. You may be going through. You may be depressed. You may have a mental illness. I don't know what you're going through. Whatever you're going through, I want you to know. Take all of your pain. Don't you give up on life. You may be suicidal. Don't you commit suicide. There's a reason for you to live. You shall live and not die. You're going to get through your sickness. You got to tell your can't tell if you got cancer, if you got a sickness. You got to say, I'm going to beat this cancer. You got to say, I'm going to beat this sickness. You got to say, I'm going to beat this mental illness. You got to say, I'm going to beat this depression. I can, I will, I must. Why? Because you're going to do great things. Napoleon Hill said, if you can't do great things, Watch this. Do small things in a great way. What do you mean? If you can't do big things right now, you need to start doing small things. Because the small things will turn into the big things. If you be persistent, if you put in blood, sweat, tears, if you put in 120% and start small, the small things will turn into something big. Maybe you're working a nine to five job that you hate. Maybe you get up every morning and you go to a job that you hate. You know there's more for your life. You know, let me tell you something, you are gifted beyond measure. There is purpose for you. You can use your purpose. You can use your gifts to make money. You can use your gifts to fulfill your purpose and you don't have to settle for that nine to five job for the rest of your life that you hate getting up and going to. Now I know there's times for a season because a man don't work, he don't eat. So there's times for a season that you got to work a job that you don't like. 
but not for the rest of your life because there's a purpose for you. You're created to do great things. You're not average. You're not meant to stay in that job that you hate for the rest of your life. Also, please don't wait. Maybe you, maybe, maybe that's you. Maybe you're procrastinating. Maybe you're putting it off. I got a word for you. Please don't wait. Because the time will never be just right. You may say, well, I'm just waiting for the right time to share my story. I'm just waiting for the right time to pursue my dream. Let me tell you something. That's dangerous. Please don't wait. Because the time will never be just right to go after your dreams. Now is the time to go after your dreams. Now is the time to start that business. Now is the time to become the CEO of that company. Now, I don't know what you want to do. Maybe you want to be an engineer. Maybe you want to be an IT. Maybe you want to be a doctor or a lawyer. Maybe you want to start your e-commerce company. I don't know what you want to do. You know what you want to do. But don't wait on your dreams. Do it right now. When you are relentless, let me say this. When you are relentless, listen to me very closely. When you are relentless, persistent, and patient, then you are destined to become great and successful. I'm going to say that again. When you are relentless, persistent, and patient, then you are destined to become great and successful. When you strive and seek out to help others, then you are destined to become great and successful. Whenever you strive and seek out to help other people, you are destined to become great and successful. Napoleon Hill said this, and I'm closing. The starting point of all achievement is desire. If you have no motivation, if you have no desire, you're not going to accomplish your dreams. There are so many people who are down. And I know there's times you have low energy. You deal with depression. You deal with a mental illness. You're dealing with issues. But don't you stay there for the rest of your life. Don't you stay there. It's time to rise up. Maybe if you need to go get some help. Go get some professional help. But don't you stay there. How bad do you want it? Don't you allow your pain, your depression, your mistakes, and your failures stop you from doing great things. Because you're going to do great things. You're going to accomplish your dreams. You're going to go to the next level. I went from flunking the first grade to barely graduating high school to being homeless in 2009 to being shot multiple times and pronounced dead in the hospital. And now I have my doctoral degree and I'm a published author of three books. And my fourth book is going to be published next year. Do great things. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please tell all your teenagers, your family, your friends, people in corporate, sports teams. Please tell the whole world about me as a motivational speaker and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to tell the whole world that I love you. I believe in you. You're going to make it. You're going to achieve it. You're going to accomplish it. This is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment. Thank you. That is my time.